Hello lovely people, Manuel here from Project Manaya and today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how we make a living on the boat or how we make our money, really. And also about the upcoming plans and we got a couple of those. Most of you who have been watching these videos for a while realize that in between I'm always working for Greenpeace and on Watering Warrior. Now, recently I didn't get a call back yet, so for now I'm 100% absolutely dedicated to the project, which is a good way in many ways, because, well, part of the reason is, well, if you spend three months on your own project, you give it a good push, you get your videos going, I make all the content that you guys watch, and after that I have a three months break where I'm working on the ship again. So in those three months basically everybody and everything comes to a stop again and then I start again from scratch. Now obviously if you're living on a boat and running a boat non-stop it does eat a chunk of money. So another way is the support of lovely people like yourselves who sign up on Patreon and who donate a small portion of money every month. Kind of like saying, oh yeah, you guys are doing a great job. I'm gonna, I don't know, give you a beer. And that's a great way. Unfortunately, so far we have a few lovely people who do support us there, but not quite enough to really run the boat of it. And another thing, and part of the reason why I'm in Austria right now, I've been doing a little marathon of talks in school. And well, started off with my own school where I went years ago in Spital in Carinthia in Austria. And by now it kind of grew a little bit. And most schools that I go to now, they actually put about a hundred students in front of me and it's really great stuff. And well, mostly, because the students are so curious and so enthusiastic about the entire topic really and full of questions and it's just a bit of an eye-opener to tell them what's really happening out there in terms of fisheries, overfishing, what a fish farm really means and that it's not as simple as it seems sometimes. So anything you guys are particularly curious about, give me a shout and I'll be happy to drop a bit more of that in one of the next videos and the idea has always been to offer and provide an open research boat we have some facilities we have binoculars we have uh, like the stereo loop sort of thing we have microscopes we have an open ROV like an underwater robot which can go down to up to 200 meters we have a drone for aerial footage for reef observations for making really nice charts of those as well so since that did not quite cut it yet. We've been making an open call to everybody who has a need for a boat. And by now we got a couple of replies. So our first trip this year, after we spent more or less one more month in Turkey to get the boat up and running and have everything ready and in perfect shape for you guys. And then we're gonna head to Greece. There's a small little island there which has a diving base with marine biologists and they have been doing a bunch of research there and they have been doing surveys there and just trying to find out what's really there in the waters and now they want to look a little bit into the deeper water and also the ultimate plan there is to create a marine reserve and we want to help them out with that so that should definitely be a good one and another one we've been approached with is from June beginning of June until end of August We've been asked if we could provide the boat and take a couple of divers with us and look for ghost nets. Which basically means fishing boats every now and then do lose their nets. And just because the net is not attached to the boat anymore doesn't mean it stops to catch fish. So there's a whole bunch of nets that are sitting somewhere caught on rocks, caught on reefs. And they're still out there and they're still catching fish. And until somebody's actually removing them, they will keep doing that. So the idea is to cruise along the entire coast of the Adriatic Sea and use the ROV to look for those nets and then once we've identified and found them we go down as divers or with divers and remove them from the marine environment which is great cause, 
good stuff and we're happy to help out with that. And now I'm mostly curious about your guys' opinion. What do you think we should pursue? What should we do? How should we fund ourselves? Any bright ideas? More than welcome. One more thing that I would love to offer is to do kind of marine biology education on the boat. So basically take marine biology students on the boat for maybe a week at a time and do dedicated courses with them. Kind of educate more about the marine environment, which is pretty much the idea that I had the law all along the way. Also for you lovely people who watch these videos and kind of show you what is really out there, what we actually try to protect here and why and go to one lovely spot every day, go diving, go snorkeling, have a good look around and afterwards talk about what we actually saw and why the hell we should take so good care of it. Alright, really curious to hear your guys' opinions and please leave us a comment, push the subscribe button and if you think we are actually working on a worthy course, feel free to sign up and support us on Patreon. Alright, thanks guys, bye!